Hello, hello friends, uh, Sniz here, and today we are going to go over a few things, and uh, I'm trying my best to talk less at you and talk to you. So in the background you're seeing me link a skill called Elementalism. It is a 10% damage boost, and the way you get it is from getting a Kana, which is a, another class which I'm sure everyone is familiar with at this point to 120. Um, link skills can have levels as in they tier up at level 70, 120, and 210. Uh, they have beneficial, they have a loads of beneficial uh, thing, of stats that they can supply to your main character so uh, it's very very worth leveling different types of characters to see what they can give you. Uh, I'll also link a post, I guess, or a site in the description that shows what all the link skills are. And I'm willing to bet if you look up what link skills are worth looking for, you'll find them yourself too. Uh, because there are certain ones that you should prioritize. Other than that, I'll be back with the next boss fight. Okay, we're fighting my favorite boss, the bitch, uh, otherwise known as Hilla. She is a very simple boss, uh, she has very few mechanics, and you can fight her quite early with limited range. I fought her with like, I don't even know how much range. So to go over her mechanics real quickly, she can use DR at certain intervals, which is damage reflect. So you hit her, she does the same damage back to you, so don't hit her. She can do this explosion, which in e a normal, since she doesn't have an easy mode, does around a half your health, I believe. And there will be a shield or area that you, a pentacle as it's called, that will protect you from the explosion that you can stand in. She also can summon a tower that will uh, suck you in, so you have to kill it uh, bef before you can move t closer to the middle to attack her. She can also curse you, which I believe in normal mode only reduces your damage by a bit or something of that sort. I'm not exactly sure because it wasn't that big of a deal to me. She is no notable because she can drop uh, she can drop the Stone of Eternal Life, which is a pocket slot item, which we'll get into later. Uh, it's not better than Pink Beans, but it is a very early game one you can get. She also, if you get to the ability to fight hard mode, she can drop a pet box, uh, along with a willow, willow wisp earrings, which are another, another item that's a part of the boss set effect. So, it's worth fighting. But I prefer getting the horn tail uh, earrings for to complete to get the earrings from that and uh, the pink bean pocket item instead. So other than that, she's a pretty simple boss. Just you know, slide back and forth attacking her, uh, don't attack her when she has damage reflect on, and make do with what you got. Other than that, I will see you with the next boss. So once again, you'll notice I play like a little bitch when fighting Golix. Uh, I was not smart enough to learn, or wasn't brave enough, I guess, to learn how to slide back and forth to dodge breaths. And I believe this is just normal mode, and you'll see in this fight that I struggle so much because I'm edging it. Uh, it's I know this is, it has at least its arm down. Uh, it looks to be normal mode because I don't see a pink breath coming out whatsoever. So the easy way to do this is to stay in the middle and slide back and forth by using by reading Golix's motions, and especially since on the left hand side it will not raise up its arm to even remotely attack you due to the fact I took out the left shoulder, wait, I took out the our right shoulder, like if you look at the map it's the right shoulder and the abdomen, so it is normal mode. Um, other than that, it's a basic Golix fight, don't play like a little bitch like I do, because it's very simple to actually learn the mechanics and it'll help you later on when you go to fight higher tiered uh, the harder versions of Golex. Uh, yeah, don't play like a pussy. It's not worth your time or effort. Uh, but yeah, the three phases are the same. Uh, the only things that are different is the first phase mainly and the health differences depending on what parts of the body you took out. So just wanted to show my normal clear because it is really, really sad to watch actually because I die way too often 
trying to do stuff that should have been easily avoided. Other than that, uh, I didn't know all the mechanics, so I let something get to the middle, so I can't leave now. Uh, also wanted to note that I also get my controls reversed, and the only way to avoid that death, or because it normally kills you if you, you're missing any health, I think it does like 95% of your health or something like that. Uh, the only way to avoid that is to leave the room to get rid of that debuff, but you can't leave if you let something get to the middle, so it was a guaranteed death at that point. Anyways, I will see you in the next clip. So, I really wanted to take a quick pit stop, and I wasn't really sure about showing me leveling mules, because although they're very effective uh, in training, I wanted to show this. So, this thing that you're seeing right now is me at the monster park getting a very important item called the Greed Pendant. Uh, I used an epoch scroll from the begin from the reboot gift box you get because I was going to use this. With this was before pet loot lag was fixed and suicide cannons were the norm for new players. So I was cubing this, and I got a greed pendant because I increases uh, equipment drop rate. This was also before the alchemy fusing change, so uh, it was slow, but you could. Uh, disassemble gear for philo stones and since i was going to be farming at bye bye as a suicider uh i would be getting pencilier equipped drops along with neb boxes that i could uh well not the neb boxes but i could get pencilier gear that i could extract for philo stones and superior crystals that i could later use in crafting which was actually ended up being really worth my time even though it was slow other than that that is the simple explanation of what this little clip is. It's the Greed Pendant, which increases item drop rates, equipment item drop rates by 20%. So any item that goes into your equip tab counts as something, it ha will have its drop rate increased by 20% according to the item description and it's been tested and it works. Or at least it's a notable difference that when wearing it that you'll get increased equipment drops. Other than that, I will see you in the last and final clip. This is a very short clip, uh, mainly because I'm trying to use this more as a progress log, less of a, I'm gonna tell you what to do and how to do it. Uh, but I got 400 coins in the Evo Lab, which I explained in a much earlier video. But the Evo Lab secondaries, if your class has one available in the shop, is worth 400 coins and tends to have two extra weapon attack than the standard one you can get from Neville, the secondary seller. Uh, it's also once, it's 10 stats, five attack, I believe. Uh, so it's a little bit worse than the Maple Treasure and definitely worse than Princess Now. So the reason I went after this is because I did not think I was gonna be getting a Maple Treasure one, which at this point in time is not available and still not available even though it's the anniversary. Uh, so it was worth getting. Uh, the Maple Treasure, for your information, tends to have 9 stat for your secondary and main stat, and 1 less weapon attack. Or, or 6 weapon attack instead of 5 weapon attack. So it is technically better than the Evo Lab secondary, but it's, it is more minuscule than, uh, than I realize. So the next big upgrade for me would not be to invest in a Maple Treasure secondary, but to start doing Princess No, which we'll eventually get into in the future. Other than that, I believe I've explained just the short progress log for, for this, and I will see you in the next episode. Sorry this was more brief, I'm trying to do more of an update kind of video, so I can get to where I am currently because I am so be far behind on clips. This is all the way from back in, back from the end of January. I apologize dearly. Anyways, I'll see you later, friends. Bye.